Hey, welcome to the Handmaidens. It's not me, just me. Of course, Mondo's here too. And today, <laughs> he's creeping in. And today we've got, it's not a creepy show, we've got a great show for you today because we are making a special treat for our favorite. Is he our favorite? <laughs> For our only on, yeah. <laughs> on camera, yeah. yeah, we love them. We're making dog treats for our dog Jack, and you can follow along and learn how to make these incredibly nutritious treats for your dog. We're going to show you how today. Here's what you're going to need. You are going to need flour, oatmeal, flaxseed, peanut butter, an egg, oil, blackstrap molasses, milk, oat milk. You know, any milk. You can even use water and then a jar to put them in and, and a dog to give them to. If you don't have a dog, you know, maybe you're going to a dog party or something or go to the dog park and bring some treats for your dog's friends. And you'll be the, you know, greatest dog owner in the world. I got my little dog, I whoop you apron on there or whatever it says. I don't know. It's got paint on it because I guess I use it for painting. So anyhow, I'm going to let Mono mix this up and let me see if I can try for once to get a close up of what we're doing here. So, and don't worry because all the ingredients I will put in the description below. Wait, 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 I almost forgot. What? I forgot today is uh, February 16th and it is uh, my granddaughter, Mondo's niece's Ella Grace's eighth birthday. Happy birthday, Ella! And it is a snow fall moon in February. Really, really, really great special day to have a birthday. All that special energy and magic that's really wonderful. How's it feel to be eight, Ella? You're such a big girl. She's big, she's beautiful, she's wonderful. And we love her. Okay. And uh, she's got a really great dog. They all got a great dog over there at my son Stephen and Lindsay's house. Um, what's his name? Ralph. Ralph. Ralph is a great dog. And then, of course, at Elisa's house, there is May. May. They got a great dog. And Janelle, uh, I guess there's a lot of dogs at Janelle's house, but one of them uh, is Willow, which happens to be the biological sister of Mercury's dog, Juniper. So but there's lots of dogs in the family. Often when we have parties, they come over. So we want to have a lot of treats on hand. These are so good and delicious that they're even good for training treats. Okay, so let's get started. See if I can zoom in on the action here. Let's see. Ah. Uh, we're going to start with the liquid ingredients first. Okay, let's see if I can't uh, move in here. And let's get a good shot. The first thing, whoa, 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 before we go, let's, okay, I guess you can put that. That is uh, one third a cup of oil. You can use olive oil, you can use grapeseed oil, you could use canola oil, you could use whatever oil you're accustomed to using because it's still really good and nutritious and will keep your dog's coat, um, uh, shiny. We're going to put in one cup of, I used oat milk, but we're going to pour in one cup of milk. Here we go. And this most important ingredient of all, the black strap molasses. And let me tell you something about that. Do you know why this is good for your dog? This will keep your dog from shedding. That's right. It is a low glycemic, full of nutrition, full of potassium, full of iron, full of copper, full of manganese, full of magnesium. This is the stuff. And guess what? It's so good for your dog's hair. It's even good for your own. If you take a, tea, a tablespoon of this a day, it's said... That it prevents gray hair and helps your hair grow and get extra shiny. So to my sons out there, you might want to start taking a spoon of, it supposedly relaxes you too if you take a spoon before bed. 
And because of the low glycemic index, it really doesn't mess so much with your sugar levels, but it tastes delicious. Okay, Mondo, let's see if you can get a little whisk with our little whisker there. A whisker, ha! Huh? No cat jokes hey, here. I, and the, the, oh, and the egg, yep, he forgot. And one egg. Did I tell you guys you needed an egg? I don't know. Yeah, you did. I did? Okay. Preferably a fresh farm egg. We don't have any right now. Because my chicken is being, my hen's being difficult. She wants more light, she says, Mama. More light. Okay. Now, take the purple one, Mondo. I think that would be better for you. Whisk and push it up and down. And that will help mix the ingredients real good. I like to use this because Mondo has some... Hand tremor, so this makes it easier for him to, he can't really operate the regular whisk, but you could use a regular whisk to mix these ingredients. You see how uh, the molasses is what is used in um, like gingerbread, so it gives the bones those nice, dark, whatever, bony looking look that you see in dog treats. Okay, that looks real good. This is really good. In the meantime, while you're doing this, have your oven preheating to 350 degrees you're going to need a cookie sheet you're going to need cookie cutters you're going to need a rolling pin and something to roll on so you're going to need all that okay you can just put that right in that in this over here where the milk is looks good you did a good job let's start with the dry ingredients we've got two cups of flour whole wheat Gluten-free, I guess. Whatever. Give that a mix in. Let's mix them in as you go. Okay? You're, we're forming a dough here. So as you get, you're gonna, it gets a little stiffer every time you, you add another ingredient. But you want to keep mixing it. Eventually, you can just go throw your hands in there and roll it and pat it and mark it with a C. You're not doing all that. You're just going to roll it and make some dough. And then we're going to make some biscuits. And we got cute little cookie cutters. You know why we why we make them look like dog bones instead of one of the 900 million other cookie cutters we have? So the little ones know those are the dog cookies. Now, should, yeah, so should a little unsuspecting character bite into one of these babies, they will not harm them because you can eat all this stuff. What it might happen is that it might be a little tough on their teeth because these are going to cook to be cookie bone, you know, dog biscuit bone tough. <laughs> so your dog can enjoy it. We don't want any soft, mushy treats. We want the tough stuff. Okay, now we're going to put one and a half cups of rolled oats. I have quick rolled oats. I don't know if it matters or not. If you watched yesterday's video... Laura made, uh, I couldn't, I could not believe it. She made granola. It was so easy. I've never made granola. Laura used to do it for a living. And she made granola. And when I found out how easy it was, was I mad? Because I buy granola all the time. And I did not know it was easy as one, two, three. So here's what you do. Go out and get your oats. Go get your molasses, you know, because you're going to want to take a spoon of that every night so you don't have gray hair. You got, you know, even though gray hair is in, young people are dying their hair gray, but um, <laughs> whatever. You want to keep the nice, rich color. It's also good for your skin melanin, uh, and uh, so you get a nice, nice glow in the summertime. Okay, so um, get all those ingredients and you can make granola. You spend a day making granola and making dog mm. treats and, you know, buy this stuff by bulk. Save on uh, buying these individually uh, not environmental friendly packaging. Okay, then we're going to put in some flaxseed. This is also so good for you. You should add it to your granola. You should add it to your cereals. You should add it to the dog biscuits. We just put in... Uh, I think it was a quarter cup, half a cup. What I put? Ah, oh, I don't know. I'll have to check. I'll write the instructions in the description on um, that quickly. And oh. See how that works so good for you, that, that stirrer. That works really good. He was really kind of struggling. That's good. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Mondo 
Uh, it does have cerebral palsy, but that doesn't stand in his way. He keeps on keeping on. He just does what he can. Um, and makes we just adapt sometimes with different things. Mm -hmm. Could you use electric mixer? Of course you could. But we always want to do stuff that, like, has anybody checked their electric bill yesterday? <laughs> or yesterday? Recently, um, I hear they're through the roof. I don't even look at mine. I can't. I'll get sick. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, so there you go. You're going to uh, mix all these dry ingredients. Uh, and then we have to have the best ingredient of all, which really... Gives it its aroma and makes the dogs love it. And it is peanut butter. We're going to put in a half a cup of peanut butter. I just got the creamy kind. You could get the all natural kind. You could get, um, you know, I don't know, chunky, whatever you get. I got what was on sale. Um, yeah, because that's what I did. And Jack appreciated it we gave him to him for valentine's day and he was so happy and loving him and it was just wonderful um we used to actually have a dog uh, the first dog that was mercury mondo's dogs named valentina we got valentina on valentine's day um and she was like such a great dog she was an australian shepherd and she was uh um, you know, she was like a nanny. She raised the, she raised the, uh, boys, I want to say. She played ball with them. She was amazing. Um, my favorite dog of all was when my childhood dog was a Bedlington Terrier. Um, um, and we trinket and she had a nickname, Bubbles. And, uh, we loved her so much. Oh my God. She looked like a lamb. Uh, you know, put in the description your the dog you have or your favorite childhood pet or whatever. I'd love to know. This is what, you know, we're all trying to get to know each other here at The Handmaidens. We want to know all of you and and, and know know the special things that you love in your life. Um, so, so that we can kind of get a feel for, oh, you know, who you are and how we're connecting. Okay, so stir in that peanut butter and then we're going to get to... Making the cookies, which is going to be about, yeah, it's getting harder. It's getting harder, getting harder. I'm wondering if you got it. You're still doing good. He's, Andre doesn't give up no matter what. Yeah, you give him a task. Speaking of dogs looking like lambs, today was really exciting because Elisa posted our very first short video. Where she showed the her sheep taking a walk in the winter. Check that out. It's uh, 40, 40 seconds or so, and it's so sweet and so just enjoyable to watch. It's just so beautiful. The sheep are amazing critters, I tell you what. Okay, so we're, I think we're, we're, you know, we're doing good here. I think we're going to have to take this junk out and put it on. Uh, let's put flour on the cutting board first. I'm going to go back to my position and help with this because it gets a little dicey here. So let's see. If I can get resume our position here where we can see what's going on. There we go. Okay. Without the camera falling over. That would be nice, right? Yeah. Well, we don't actually have your head in the shop, but we don't need it. So, okay. So let's go. And here we got, um, oh, I have that just for this. Let's get the flour. Uh, keep going. Get the flour. Sprinkle a lot on, here it gets messy now, on here. We're gonna put some flour down, yep. And then we're gonna take all this out, this dough. And yeah, and we're gonna start, it takes a lot of flour, it's sticky. You can, um, you know, if you feel like it's too sticky, reduce the wet ingredients. You know, maybe, maybe you want to make this all vegan. The only thing you got to do is take out the egg and make sure that you're not using uh, an animal milk, that you're using a vegetable milk product, coconut or oat or, you know, I thought oat milk would go good with the oats. Okay. Now, let me get rid of that probably should have oiled my hands first um that helps so we're gonna put some flour on top okay and 
Here we go. We're going to pat it first, right? Pat it down. I'm missing a whole bunch in here. Bet you that's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. You don't think so? Maybe. Yeah, I know it is because I tasted it when we made them before. Okay, real good. All right, get rid of that. Pat this. <clears throat> We're going to roll it a little bit more with some dough. It came out a little extra wet than even last time. Yeah. I wonder why that is. Maybe it was a bigger egg. Okay. I was going to keep adding some flour. Hold on. Let me wipe my hands off. And, and, and I kind of doubled the flour there. Did I add more? Yeah, add, yeah, you add some more flour on top. And, there we go. All right, that's plenty. So you got lots of flour to pat it. I don't remember it quite being being like this last time. Okay, yeah. so but let's let's see. Let's see if we can start to roll it out. Rolling it out. Rolling it out. Yeah, that would have like almost doubled the flour. But watch your consistency. Whenever you're working with things, making breads, making, making, uh, uh, like ornaments that you make out of these things, you can always adjust because this is, these are, well, breads, I think you have to be careful. These aren't going to rise so much because there's no yeast in this. So the main thing is you got to get it a consistency that you can work with. And then you want to roll it to, Oh, like a quarter of an inch. Okay. And then you're going to start, start cutting and getting them ready to bake. Um, we have all sorts of cookie cutters here. Say we got them on Amazon. We got these in cute colors. I don't know why the colors don't matter, but they're cute and different sizes. And there we go. Rolling, patting, and I'm going to, what size do you want to use, Mondo? So what we'll do is use a little spray on the, which size? Uh, I'm still like, it's fine. That size? We're just gonna, uh, you like the little ones, right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Spray with some oil so it, when you cut it, it doesn't stick so well, so much. And I have drying racks here. They're helpful for when you uh, take your cookies out. You're gonna cook them at 350 for 25 minutes. We're going to put some parchment paper on the cookie sheet. Keep the cookie sheet nice. You don't have to use parchment paper. It's more of a luxury item. If you have it, use it. And we're just going to, let's see. Can we see if we got through? Let's see. And once you get done with these, that one's not through yet. Here we go. Let's try it again. Let's try a bigger one. I wonder if they do it Huh? There. These worked perfect the other day. Perfect. Yeah, I wonder. There we go. And you place it on, on that. And I think we probably did. I think we probably worked the dough a little more. And you put it through. You think this is too thin? Yeah, I think the dough was okay. Dough is too thin. Here's what you do. Mono says it's too thin. It's if it's too thin, it's roll it back in. Put it back into a bowl. That's where you want to start with a bowl. And 
he, he says it's too thin, and I believe him. Because he was made a bunch of them last time. And roll it out thicker. Okay? <clears throat> you really can't, you can't go wrong. Everything can be fixed. Okay? Roll out your mixture, and you think that's good? Still, he likes those little guys. <laughs> okay. All right. Let, let me just see. Let me see if it comes up. Let me see. And there you go. What you want to do is cut them all out. Pull up the extra dough up around it. And then they'll all be laying there. You can scoop them up. Okay. So, what you end up with... Where if you bake them, and we will bake these, let me wash my hands again. Um, is a very delicious treat for your dog that may prevent him from shedding and will certainly make you love him. Jack, come on up. Come on, get up here. Come on. Can you get up? I know what Jack's going to want to do. Jack's going to take these. Sit. Jack, sit. Sit. You can't see. Jack, sit. There you go. Jack loves them. And Jack takes them and runs. Takes them and runs. Cookies on the run. So there you go. So we took some. We put them in a jar. We put some twine. Regular twine jute. Got some nice little uh, uh, chalkboard markers. We put his name on them, tied them on. And he said, thank you. You want another one? Yeah, you do. Sit down. There you go. Good boy. Okay. And that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the description below. We'd be happy to answer them. And there you go. We'll get done and we're going to bake up some more. So we'll have plenty for the future. In the meantime, have a good night, everyone. Take care. Enjoy the full moon. Put your crystals out if that's something you're into. Um, and give your dog a hug and make him a treat. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.